Hey guys, this is a video of me taking apart a key cylinder for a 1973 Datsun 620. I'm pretty sure this is um, the same design used for uh, the same year Datsuns like the Datsun 510s, maybe the 280s, 240s maybe, and so on. I'm not really familiar with the Datsun uh, models, but the one I have is the 620. The uh, reason why I took this one out was because... Uh, where's my keys at? Uh, anyways, I can't, I don't have my keys with me, but the reason why I took this out from the driver's side door was because when I stuck my key in, I couldn't twist the, uh, the lock in there. I couldn't lock my doors. The key will go in, but it wouldn't twist the shaft right here. Um, I wish I could have made a video of me taking this apart from the door. Uh, really, it's not that hard. Uh, just make sure you took that, um, that little um, C clamp or that little uh, that ring, the rivet ring right there that holds to the rod connected to the um, the latch. Just make sure you take that off and you don't break that plastic piece that's connected down there when you take that pin off. And the uh, that little rod with the plastic uh, piece should slide off the cylinder um, holder right here. I don't know what it's called, but anyways. I was looking to see if I can just remove the shaft right here without having to disassemble the, the cap right here. As you can see, I fucked it up. Um, hopefully, it should still function right. Let's take a close up. Okay, see right there? Uh, don't worry about this. This is just a uh, plastic um, washer so that the cylinder lock sits flush against the door but anyways the way I did it was I grabbed a uh, small flathead make sure it's thin enough so you can stick it in between the uh, cap take a quick okay anyways make sure you stick it in between here come on focus okay there you go. Make sure you stick it in between here and the uh, base of the cylinder lock. And you see it's kind of scratched up right there. But anyways, the way you remove this is you it's sitting like that. And while it's sitting like that, you just come on, stay stay still. Okay, so you stick it in between there and you slowly twist it. Just twist it enough all the way around the, um, the cylinder cap right there and just keep twisting it until you get enough clearance for it to uh, budge out. And another way to make it easier for you to take it off after you've... Um, got that lip around that that ring uh, that cap mostly off what I would do is I'd go with a uh, needle nose plier I'd go from the edge just like that and I'd I'll focus anyways uh, damn my phone's acting like a bitch anyways you stick the needle nose plier on the edge of the uh, that cap and you slowly just clamp it and pull it up so you uh, give, enough, give it enough slack you know all the way around that's why you can see the uh, on the lip there is kind of damaged because I was pulling that the edge of that cap higher up so it will give it some clearance so once you give it enough slack this whole thing should just pop right off it should just pop right off of there. See, I don't have the, um, they call it the tumblers inside this cylinder lock. And anyways, once you get that off, you push the back part of that, uh, that cylinder lock. Come on, focus. My phone's not focusing. Come on. 
horrible video. Okay, sorry guys. Anyways, uh, once you get that cap off, push the back end of that cylinder lock and the inner uh, shaft where the key inserts in, it should just pull right up. And I don't have a rebuild kit for this in order for my key to work. So what I'm going to try to do is I got a set of uh, files right here. Uh, these little miniature files, handheld little miniature files, and I'm going to try to follow down those uh, little tumbler locks in there and play with it in order for me to uh, be able to stick my key in there and see if I can be able to mess with a combination in there so this thing can start twisting so I can be able to lock my doors again. Again, this is for a uh, 73 Datsun 620. And uh, here, since my phone focused, I'm going to see if I can pull this whole thing out with one hand. And there you go. You see the tumblers in there, the little locks in there. They're, they're spring-loaded, so be careful. Don't misplace them. Again, that's the cap, the chamber, and the cylinder lock shaft in there with the tumblers. Whatever you want to call these little push-pin locks. And you see how it's how it's seating in there. I actually went ahead and I bought a new set of uh, cylinder locks on eBay but um, for the time being I didn't want to wait for my uh, my truck to be sitting around with an unlocked door so I'm gonna see if I can mess with this and uh, see what happens alright uh, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, I'm out bye